Welcome back. You're watching Storyboard. Godrej Consumer Products Limited recently launched the world's lowest cost liquid mosquito repellent device and a no gas mosquito kill spray. The company said it is targeting over 100 million households that use the smoke intensive local and often illegal insecticide dipped incense sticks instead of liquid vaporizers or aerosols. I caught up with Ashwin Murthy, Chief Marketing Officer India Godrej Consumer Products Limited on what is the strategy to take these innovation to these households? How is GCPL re-evaluating its marketing strategy? while managing macroeconomic challenges and how are they shaping their campaigns while holding the core value of the brands from ages ashwin welcome to cnbc tv 18 thanks for having me here shubhani ashwin so this year has begun with two exciting launches from gcpl one is the low cost mosquito repellent machine and the other one is uh, a mosquito spray without gas yep can you tell us uh, more about these two launches and how do you intend to uh, i believe the focus is on low income households with these products so how do you intend to reach to these households over the next uh, few weeks months and this yeah, year yeah thanks thanks shubhani i think you know when we looked at the mosquito insecticides category from the consumers lens mm -hmm. two of the largest categories in mosquito repellents are liquid vaporizers and aerosol sprays mm -hmm. but what we realized is that these two solutions were primarily accessible to urban india uh, or or generally upper middle middle income to middle income consumers in general and when we went down and met lower income consumers we realized there were about 100 million odd consumers who didn't use either of these two formats but had the same issues they wanted a good night sleep there was mosquito free they have high infestation and they wanted instant kill to clear the rooms and then we realized what they were using an alternative they were they were burning uh, things like coils or incense sticks and you know the incense sticks are actually illegal they are agarbatti is dipped in insecticides they aren't really regulated so both from a perspective of consumer safety and of access we had to innovate and bring both these categories uh, at a price point that will be that they'll be able to afford and then we realized when looked at both of these products that we have so in, in liquid vaporizer the product called good night gold flash um which is the top selling liquid vaporizer across india we realized that this machine had a dual mode and the reason for the dual mode is you know when you when urban homes infestation tends not to be high throughout the night there are periods when there are high levels of mosquitoes and then we shut the we tend to shut the windows put on the fan and sleep so you don't need a standard high level of insecticide released through the night we realized that consumers in lower income households did not really need that they tend to sleep with the windows open right. so there is a kind of a regular mosquito infestation that goes through the night so the the reason why you can give a dual mode is because there's a chip inside it's an electrical circuit we remove that we also removed the plastic so there are certain cosmetic uh, features of the urban flash which is it covers the you know when the refill is put in it covers that part we removed it because you said look this is may not be as necessary to the, to consumers who want to access the benefit so we reduced the plastic we removed the chip we simplified the device and we were able to halve the price at which you could give it to consumers uh, so thereby really kind of expanding the access that uh, that they got similarly with the aerosol spray globally aerosols are one of the biggest formats for mosquito repellent uh, and then we realized that the reason for aerosol sprays to have uh, pressurized cylinders and lpg propelled uh, sprays is because they cover large rooms so when you want to spray you have a large room you want to spray the insecticide and cover the entire room you need something to propel it but these consumers who had relatively smaller rooms did not need the area of coverage so we learned from the deodorants business which has done quite a big value disruption on adopting water based spray and then we realized that if you remove the pressurized cylinder and you remove the lpg propellant you could actually give consumers really high quality safe insecticide at a spread that works for them and you halved the price so we removed the price we moved it down from the mid hundreds to 50 rupees for a month protection and now uh, you know the launch has happened but uh, comes the part where you know it has to reach as many households that you yeah. intend to take it to so what are the challenges when it comes to uh, creating awareness or spreading awareness of a product like this because 
all said and done, like even in rural households or, you know, many semi-urban areas or low-income households, as you mentioned yourself, they use um, products like incense sticks to uh, do away with the mosquitoes. There are many stores which do not keep these formats. They don't keep the good night gold flash. They don't keep the hit aerosol sprays mm. uh, because they were just too high and they didn't have the demand. So what these packs at 50 rupees each give us the ability to is to access these stores in the first place. So these are stores that keep incense sticks, uh, that keep coils, mm. but they don't keep these products. Uh, and now we can reach those. So the first is to leverage our physical distribution that we have because we're fairly large soaps business of scale. Uh, to be able to reach uh, these outlets or so consumers have physical access to these products. The second is on building mental availability. So both these price points will be advertised and we're also going to be investing in, in rural marketing and rural reach, uh, which we were not at the same level in the past. To get consumers who were not purchasers of Good Night or Hit, and there are quite a large number of them, 100 million is our estimation, to be aware that now these products exist and are accessible at a price that uh, they will find convenient. How significant is the insecticide repellent business for GCPL? It's a large business for us. It's a large category. It's about six and a half thousand crores. Hmm. Um, it's a large category in India. Um, and uh, we have a very large share of that category. We have more than half that category. So, uh, you know, since you're focusing on market development, do uh, these supply chain issues and, you know, in general uh, or, uh, you know, global economic factors, uh, the whole, uh, you know, disruption when it comes to tech space, is it impacting uh, your marketing plans? Are you reevaluating your marketing strategies in certain way, considering that also for a product like this, you are... Uh, you know, thinking of growing the market. So you need to have sizable amount of budgets in hand when it comes to marketing. No, certainly. I mean, uh, we continue to invest uh, heavily in advertising and media. Hmm. And uh, we remain committed to building the access because these products will not grow hmm. unless we are able to improve our, uh, our our ability to reach those consumers well. So in those sense, the investments beyond uh, marketing, particularly in insecticides, will continue to be made. Hmm. As technology improves and certain media becomes more accessible than others in terms of both its scale and its pricing. Hmm. So many parts of rural, we've discovered that rural digital is larger than TV in certain cases in driving reach. Hmm. So we kind of follow hmm. scale and we follow pricing yeah. uh, with our marketing investment. So as technology develops and as markets evolve, yeah. we will keep you know, staying in pace with uh, with those opportunities there. Product like this, which is, uh, you know, which is taking uh, an insecticide repellent to uh, smaller income households or, uh, you know, an ad by Synthol that reflects the aspirations of women of today. Uh, very different from the kind of advertising that we have seen from GCPL in the past. So, are you moving towards, you know, reaching out to more Bharat, more India per se? I think it comes down to insight. So, for example, in Synthol, there's there's a history of fine advertising, you know, mm. and uh, brands evolve with consumers. So Synthol is a great case of a brand which for 70 years, it's, it's in fact, it's uh, it's 70th year this, this year, uh, has been able to keep pace with how consumers have changed. So started off with a lot of male colonic type advertising, mm. uh, which some of it is quite iconic uh, with Vinod Khanna and then Shah Rukh Khan after mm. that. And then in, this, in the South, what we've realized is uh, as, uh, you know, Consumers tend to share soaps. It's not just mm. a male soap in the house or a, or a female soap in the house. Consumers tend to share soaps in the house. Is what are those insights in cleansing mm. uh, and uh, with women in general that we can unlock to, to make this brand even stronger, more loved, mm. uh, more memorable. Mm. And similarly in the case of insecticides as well. I mean, a recent advertising on Good Night, uh, mm. which is on sleep, is actually how the brand was for many, many years in the mm. past. You know, this brand, I mean, it's in the name, Good Night. Mm. It was built on a good night's sleep. Mm. So I think it's more about just keeping in pace with what is the fundamental memory structure of these brands. Mm. In Synthol's case, it's confidence. In the past, it was Vinod, Vinod Khanna on a horse. Mm. Uh, today, it's about a woman who changes society mm. by boldly becoming a collector mm. and taking on a job which, uh, you know, many women weren't doing in the past. That's mm. the reality today. Hmm. So it's about holding the core values of the brand, hmm. but adopting them to really exciting advertising ideas and insights hmm. that makes them loved and uh, Yeah, but you get the, the shift that I am hinting at, right? Like we are used to seeing uh, like a synthol or a good night in a particular manner. Good night 
was showcased in like a nicely done polished uh, home and now you are taking it to lower income households so uh, there is a shift there's a clear shift that is seen from an like from an observer's point of view from an outsider's perspective yeah i mean the expansion of the segment and and mm. the to lower income households is indeed intentional mm. and the insights that ring true to those households so price and the use of these products in a certain way is an insight there mm. but what it won't change is the fundamental promise the brand makes and what sure. we're very clear about is these are consumers who are aware of good night and hit they've mm. heard of it before mm. so the promise that good night offers which is mm. a good night sleep and that hit offer which is an instant mosquito kill those promises will not be diluted mm. sure thank you so much thanks for sharing these insights with us ashwin thanks shivani it's great talking to you it is time for a short break on the other side we have shubhran chu singh vice president marketing domestic and ib tata motors and we also have this week's notice board Standard Charter presents CNBC TV 